Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Savannah. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my free mobile app. Completely free to use, only works on phone. And you will get homes sent to your phone directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. By the way, I'm going to try out something new. I'm going to get a QR code and I'm going to throw it up in the corner. So go ahead and just scan that and it will take you straight to that app. Let's see this one. So like I say in all of my tours, if you're thinking about buying new, want to buy new, considering buying a new home, make sure to call an agent. If you go into the sales office, speak with the associates, or you fill out information online, they actually don't represent you. The sales associates represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. And if you want representation, fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission. The builder does. So give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. So we are up here in Summerlin today. This is a Taylor Morrison community. This one is all single story. They do have a sister um, location just down the street and it is the two story ones. This is the single story Taylor Morrison against Savannah. We are looking at the Violet. Single story, four bed plus study, three bath, three car garage. You even get this nice little front patio. Now, do me that huge, huge favor and hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Again, I try to put videos out every single day. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. So coming in, I love these tall ceilings. Now, I wasn't able to speak with the associate because they are a little busy today, but I know in other Taylor Morrison communities, these 10 foot ceilings are a structural option. You're gonna get nine foot ceilings with six foot eight doors. These are the eight foot doors with the 10 foot ceilings. It makes the room feel so big, draws you to the back. But before we head back that way, Let's see what we have over here. So right up front, we have our first bedroom. Decent size, full size bed, two nightstands. They even did the electrical package with the lighting. There are four can lights and then they'll give you that center cap right there. That's a pre-wire for a ceiling fan and or light chandelier. Whatever you decide on, you can add that after you close. One static window, two windows that open. It's actually, it's a nice size room and it feels even bigger just because of these high, high ceilings. Cool gaming room. I'm gonna come over here, spin around so you can see the rest of the room. And then we have our closet. And again, you can raise that up if you wanna add a second one, double your closet space. But nice starting room. It feels, uh, I've actually seen these with a different client and I love these homes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of them. Oh, I didn't mention the price. This one starts at $727,900. So right here we have our bathroom. So double vanity. I do like the stone. Oh, please don't touch any. Well, we'll not tell anyone about that. We have our undermounted sinks. They did do the more modern looking cabinets, so those are definitely upgraded. I like this. And this bathroom feels really, really big. We have our toilet, huge window, and that is awfully low. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you're gonna want your neighbors seeing you, so definitely some window treatments. And then we have our tub shower combo. Right there is our shower head. Now they upgraded this, this is all tile. Normally you're gonna get fiberglass composite insert here you can upgrade to tile and then we have a fiberglass composite tub i do like these ones because there is the shelf right there no soap niche i know they do have it available but a lot of the models they don't necessarily put it and we have a huge linen closet really big linen closet huh let me see something really quickly hmm what do you guys think i almost wish they had the linen closet here and not in the bathroom. I don't know, what do you think? Would you like it this way or would you like the door here? I'm only guessing they didn't put it there just because there's not enough room, but things to ponder. Second bedroom, same size as the first. And again, you can really see how big these rooms are. I have a little sitting area for the nursery. It's fun with all of like the little jungle animals, big window. And again, they did the lighting package. 
You can do those in any rooms. You can do it in no rooms. You can only do it in the master. It just depends on what you're looking for and how much you want to spend. I know at the other communities, they're like, I want to say 600-ish a room or somewhere around there. Don't quote me on it. I'm going off of memory. But we have our two-door closet. Let's see how big this is right here. So it's definitely a smaller size closet. So coming on out. I love the high ceilings, really do. And the artwork's kind of fun in here too. So coming down the hall, we have, and you can see the strip in here. I'm sure these are gonna be expensive when they put these on the market. We have our coat closet. Right here is our den, but before we take a look at that, let's go down this hall. So, hmm, let's go all the way and we'll work our way back. So, next bedroom. Ooh, this one's nice. It's an ensuite. That's a queen size bed. We have our nightstand. Again, huge window. And again, they did the lighting package. This is the largest home in the community. I'm gonna come over here first and then we'll walk around so you can see the closet and everything. I love how big these windows are. We have our dresser. So we have the dresser. I'm gonna come on over here just so you can see everything. It's a pretty big bed for the room. I may, it's definitely a full actually. You can still see there's a decent amount of space over there. And then we have our closet. Mm, that's the only thing I'm gonna complain about. This closet is kind of small, to be honest. So you're definitely gonna wanna create some more space, move it up, add a second. So what's really neat about this room, this is an ensuite. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have our vanity. And again, these are definitely upgraded vanities. Yep, soft clothes. They did the undermounted sink. Really clean looking. You have your small little backsplash. And then, ooh, what do we have here? There's a door. So we have our toilet. We have our tub shower combo. And again, fiberglass composite. It would normally be fiberglass composite, but there's your shower head. They tiled all the way up. One little trick I will tell you about fiberglass is that it's easier to clean. There's no grout lines. So this is interesting. We have a linen closet right here, so I don't know. Would you like the linen closet or would you have wished that the actual room closet had been double the size? I don't know. I think I would have personally rather had a bigger closet, but that's me. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Right here we have our laundry room. Nice, really nice laundry room. So everything in here is an optional or an upgrade. They did a ton of storage, all the uppers. We have a backsplash, we have more storage down below, and we have a sink. So really nice wash basin, even some area to fold. I like this. Nice, nice laundry room. Again, all you're gonna get is a shelf. So if you wanna get the uppers, you wanna get the lowers, you can do that, you could do either or. Just keep that in mind. Right here we have our powder room. So definitely one of the smaller powder rooms. Sometimes these powder rooms are huge, but no means tiny. We have our toilet. We have our vanity. Again, same cabinets, nice counters, undermounted sink. And I don't know why they're doing this. I just noticed it in one of the other models. Like why is the mirror all the way down at the bottom? Cause I know if you splash water up, I guess it doesn't really matter cause everything's tiled here, but still. It's very clean, very sleek. I, I like it. I just, that's a little thing I would like to see. And that may just be me. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Do you like the mirror all the way down? Do you wish there was a bit of a backsplash? I just think it would be easier to clean. Right here, three car garage, they keep them locked though. So I can't get in there because they store all of the doors, all the extra things that go along with the home. Right here, we have our den, office, study, Man cave, she shed, whatever you want to call it, but nice. I would love this office. I like this desk. I know some people watch the channel just strictly for ideas, for remodels, those kind of things, but nice office. What would you do with this space? Would you do an office? Would you do kind of like um, 
a movie room, library, what would you do? So, oops, nice. I like this. And again, these rooms feel so much bigger just because of the ceilings. Coming on into the main portion. Awesome, it's just so open. I'm gonna try to sneak out back really quickly. I know it is windy, so do keep that in mind. We have our huge slider. This can open either way, just FYI. I know they're doing a bunch of construction across the way and it is kind of windy, but I wanna come out here really quickly. They did the optional covered balcony, or excuse me, covered uh, patio. So this is an option. They did a bunch of landscaping out here. I know some people like to just see what the backyards look like. Oh, this is so cool. So little water feature. Sorry about the wind. And then this is like a cantilever. Look, there's only one post holding that up. So nice. And then just so you can see where we are again, sorry about the wind. Right there is the Vegas Strip. I'm gonna come back in really quickly and then do some more talking just because I know the audio isn't gonna be that great. So when you buy new, you need to budget for that backyard. Now, if you get the covered patio, they're gonna give you pavers or whatever stone they offer. Love the kitchen. But when buying new, everything else is going to be dirt. It's your responsibility to finish it however you so choose. Backyards, average. 13 to 15,000, now these are way more. Also the price of this house is more than what we call quote unquote, like the average home price. Huge linen closet. That's, I mean, it's probably four feet deep. It's really big. Coming back in over here, master suite. One, two windows that open and then three static. There's a lot of glass in here. King size bed, we have a a uh, little like couch even. Not quite a love seat, but nice. Two nightstands. Again, they did the lighting package in here. I'm such a fan of that. I wish my house had can lighting, but this is a big room and they even did tile in here. They didn't even put carpet in this bedroom. I love that. I'm such a fan of hard surface flooring. I'm not a fan of carpet at all, but big, big space. I'm gonna come over here. I love the ceiling fan. It's like a prop propeller. We have our dresser. Cool. So coming on into the master bath, what a shower we have here and it has a rain shower head. So this is optioned up. Normally you would get fiberglass composite, then you could do separate tub, separate shower, but check this out. They went all out here. They did the tile. We have our bench, we have our valves. I love this. I know I would get in trouble though, because my fiance is so all for bath, so I could never do that, but it is pretty, it's nice. Right here we have our vanities, and this is huge. There's a lot of counter space here. A ton of counter space, and that is one sheet of glass. That's a big mirror, really big mirror. Coming on down, just so you can see also our undermounted sinks. We have our toilet area. That window does open. And then if we spin, we get to our closet. Not bad. Single bar and shelf, double bar and shelf, and even goes back around here. I would do like maybe a big mirror here, or I mean, what would you do here? I guess, mm, I bet you the door opens this way. They don't have the hinges on it. I, that's what I'm guessing. The door is gonna open right here. And then we have a bunch of shelves and a ton of hanging space. Nice closet. Let's go ahead, head on out and get back to that kitchen, living, dining. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please, please reach out. Love to answer anything, all my contact information down below. And do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it does help out the channel tremendously. I like this. I really like their homes. So right here, we have our dining area and there's so many windows. One, two, three, four, huge slider, five, six. Lot of space. 
I like this. I mean, you could even do a bigger dining table. It doesn't feel like it's too tight or claustrophobic. We even have the little buffet area, but very, very nicely done. Right here, let's go over to the living space and then we'll check out that awesome kitchen. So, big TV. I mean, I love the big TV, especially because the sink is in the island. Nice, just, it feels like you've come home. It's hard to explain. So, coming over here, just so you can see the entire home. And let's go check out that awesome kitchen. So they decided to go gray with the cabinets in here because I know the cabinets and all the bathrooms were white and they actually did two-tone because here we have white and the island actually has storage on both sides. So you may be able to fit four bar stools here. It might get a little tight. Hmm, I kind of wish this island even had an overhang here, but then I get why because going into the bedroom and whatnot, it's just, there's a lot of space here but they did the 42 inch uppers with the top uppers as well you can get them in glass you can get them just wood panel normally you're not going to get them at all unless you option up for it but this is what i was saying we have white and we have gray big island really quickly let's go check out this sink so we have our dishwasher right here we have tons of storage a lot of storage because there's also storage on the other side we have our double basin undermounted sink. This guy right here is eventually for reverse osmosis. They don't give you the system, but you can get it hooked up after. Here's your view from your sink. The cool thing about it is when they do this, they run the line also to the fridge for your ice maker and water out of that. And really quickly, if you do get a reverse osmosis filter, make sure to take the filter out of the fridge. It's gonna wear out the pump if you don't, cause it's just, it's too much filtration. So. They did the lights underneath. They did the backsplash. I, <laughs> I would need to buy more stuff to fill all these cabinets. There's a lot of storage in this house. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our vent hood. Now you can go and get like the single more industrial looking vent hood if you want, like the kitchen one. Also, I just missed it because it was behind the uh, books. We even have a phone jack. Right here, we have our microwave. Again, all these appliances are upgraded, so keep that in mind. Built-in microwave. We have our double oven. Love it. And then our fridge. Let's check out the pantry. So coming on over here. That's kind of funny. It's walk-in, but it's definitely, it's, it's okay size for the kitchen and everything. I feel like I would almost use part of that linen closet that was over here, right behind that. Well, I would use that as part of the pantry as well. Let me know what you think about this. Is this your style of home? I know some people like ultra modern. I know some people like more contemporary, more traditional. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this one? Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, give me a call, all my info down in the description below. As always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.